Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, Google is going to work on a new feature coming up in August where it wants to access some of the um, uh, USB web features or APIs. Um, so unrestricted web USB features would be trusted through isolated web apps to bypass security in some cases, and I'll explain why. First of all, you might ask, why does Chrome ask for a USB? Well, it's very simple. Chrome can do a lot of things. An example of that, Chrome can actually uh, drive your webcam. I use um, the online streaming from Google Chrome when I do streaming uh, live streams on YouTube. So, of course, it has to have access to these different devices. It could be that Chrome, for some reason, would like to have access to a USB thumb drive with some files on it. So there's a lot of reasons where human interface devices, mass storage devices, uh, any type of smart card or audio device, audio video device, and even wireless controllers might want to be accessed through Chrome. But how do you do that safely? And this is where Chrome is going to add a web USB specification that will have a block list of specific USB devices that cannot be accessed through the API, uh, like YubiKeys, stuff like that, Google Titan keys, uh, Google Titan keys that for security. But they are going to test a what's called unrestricted web USB, and this feature will allow web apps that are isolated, which means they are in their own little memory space that cannot. Um, give access to anything else on the PC, they'll give the permission or the access to some of these restricted devices and interfaces. So this comes because there's more and more devices on the market and there's more and more ways that these devices can be accessed, but anything USB can somehow be a danger. Uh, we've known for a long time Sharing USB thumb drives is a bad idea. Why? Well, somebody gets a virus, well, you get a virus, and you give the virus to everybody else. So by restricting these access, first of all, if it would be happen, it would stop the spread. It wouldn't allow that spread to go on. And also, um, this would allow a lot of devices that right now cannot be accessed through the web browser. So these trusted features would go through, of course, a app that needs to have um, restricted access so that nothing goes, you know, berserk because you've just given access to everything. But that would be a test that would be starting in Chrome 128 where a lot of devices that right now can be denied might suddenly get access and I trust that the way that it's done even if of course giving USB access is always a touchy thing might make things a little better and make make things a lot more secure uh, especially with some devices that are more dangerous than others if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching